This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rasponi. Paradise, Louisiana is also brought to you by Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Finney's Car Wash and Oil Change, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament, Dimco, and by Farm Bureau Insurance. Welcome to this week's edition of Paradise, Louisiana. I'm Gary Rusponi. Here we are, okay. Sapir Bay and Tackle on Seeking Lane. So, uh, got some good news, got some bad news. Uh, the weather's been bad. Uh, I'm sort of reluctant to give you too much fishing report because, let me, let me tell you what, you just don't know them storms, how long they're going to last, how long the rivers are going to rise. But uh, I do have some good fishing reports, so stay tuned. Uh, we're going to try to go back and, uh, and, and, and do a little reruns on, on the, some of the Sacolay fishing, and maybe if we got time, we're going we're gonna to get a little run with, with check with Chas again and see what's going over there in the Pontchartrain Basin because uh, they are being real tough over there. So you're watching Paradise, Louisiana from Sapir Bay and Tackle. For the thirsty, for those who hang out in packs, for heroes, for sidekicks, for those who see the glass half empty, for those who see it half full, for those on the right, for those on the left, for those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style, for lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone. My name's James Loop, and I won the uh, 2020 Chevy 1500. It was uh, first day at roughly 5, 36 o'clock in the evening. I was like, let's stay fishing. And she's like, nah, maybe we need to get back to the launch, you know? <laughs> yeah, I had a blast. It was a great summer tournament. Thank you, Super Chevy dealers, for my 2020 Silverado. Fish like a fanatic with the latest generation of Revo. Built on corrosion resistance and comfort. World-class adventure awaits with Revo. Abu Garcia for life. I'm Brett Favre. As a quarterback in the NFL, if I didn't stay focused, I ended up on my back or worse. Even the smallest distraction could make a good play or offensive drive come to an end. When you're in a car, the smallest distraction could end much more than a drive. It could end someone's life. Just like I refuse to lose on the field, I refuse to lose someone I love to distract and drive them. And you should too. Focus on the road. Don't drive distracted. A message from Farm Bureau Insurance. movement to them they're so cold when I grab this fish he's he's ice cold but this is what we're looking for we're using that matrix minnings got that one choked down pretty good we fish these deep lakes when it's really cold like this and we fish all over down here for crappie during the crappie season a lot of times we're off the west and east pearl 
Right now that's super high as that big freeze had a lot of rain and snow mixed in with it. So that's high. So we're not messing with that. And some of the areas that we really like that are shallower, we typically fish those on the warmer days. But today's kind of nice, but the water temperature's in the low, low 50s, high 40s, very cold. So we're fishing 15 to 20 foot of water, vertical jigging these beautiful fish right here. we go sometimes in the winter time when we're targeting those crappie oh, they broke me right there she's in some light six pound test but in the winter time when we're jigging those crappie deep sometimes you run into these guys and them way deep in the bayou i mean in the lake and bass love these matrix minis just like the crappie do let this guy go Dude, tie this back on and see if we can get a, another bass or crappie. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Oh. Legend's first fish of the day. It's a miracle. It's a, a perch, a bluegill. So we went from crappie to bass to bluegill. Old Matrix Mini catching a little bit of everything. Good eating fish right there. He's crappie are barely look at him. I'm gonna let him in the water. Well, they're barely, barely moving. They're so cold. Like I said before, this water temperature is freezing, but right now we're mixing it up. You know, we're we're fishing for crappie. This is the targeted species right now. But with this cold, cold water, it's brought all the species off the bank. And the bass, the brim, everything is seems like it's favor in the middle of this lake here because it's got that 10 to 20 foot of water and they're coming off the bank you know we've caught some really big perch today some bluegill some really nice crappie and some really beautiful bass all way off the bank in the middle so what you want to do when you're fishing the dead of the winter sometimes if water temperatures get below that 50 degree range a lot of times they're going to come off the bank and get dead in the middle of the uh the deepest parts of the estuary all right, let's go over to setup here. Today, we're using the Blue Horizon Matrix Mini. The Mini comes in five colors. They're all great. Colors just kind of up to you or the estuary that you're fishing. We got it on a 1 8 ounce uh, Golden Mini jig head. This is a specialty jig head that we like to use for the Mini. It does not have a shank on it at all. The Mini is a very durable plastic. And that way it fits it really nice, very slender bait, fantastic little lure. Then I like to use anywhere from a four to an eight pound fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon is extremely, extremely important when you're crappie, you're sockeye fishing. They have very good vision, big eyes, they see very well. You need to go to a fluorocarbon. I have it tied to a, um, a white nano fill. This is something that we're, making right now we got some prototypes of it and i like to use that white nano it's very sensitive i like white that way when you cast it out there you can see it very easy on your eyes because when you're fishing this deep deep water not only do you need to be able to feel the bite you need to also be able to see it and do a lot of line watching so it really really helps to have that white braid so we're fishing this super deep water when that little eighth ounce hits the water, it's a good 15 to 20 count, as you saw how long it took me before I began my retrieve back to the boat. So you wanna, when you're basically that eighth ounce 
it's going to sink about every a foot every second or more. So if you're fishing 15, 20 foot of water, you're talking like a 15 to 20 count before the bait hits the bottom. And you always want that bait to travel through the whole water column and get to the bottom before you begin your retrieves. And we just like to hop it off the bottom. And these bites are very subtle. It's not the biggest fish in the world, obviously. They're not the most ferocious. So when you're fishing for a 10 to 14 inch fish, with light gear like this, you, have, you better have some really sensitive line, sensitive gear, and pay very close attention looking for those subtle strikes. Feels like a perch. Oh, that's a good bluegill. Oh, nice bluegill. Like I said before, we have caught some monster bluegill. They've caught some beautiful crappie, some beautiful bass on another day of fishing deep in a deep man-made lake. Oh, let me bring this one home, fry him up. Fishing super deep, 15 foot of water, 20 foot of water, freezing cold, as cold as water temperatures get down here for us using the Matrix Mini for MatrixShed.com. So, hope you enjoyed this episode of Dockside TV. If you want to get your hands on some Matrix Minis, try out your hand on pan fishing. Make sure to subscribe to the Matrix Bait Box. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, good fishing. It's time to take fishing to a bold new place. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. These baits feature a revolutionary new material that releases a supercharged scent field. They attract more fish and trigger more strikes than even original power bait. And all remain soft and flexible out of the package, so they're ready to fish. Ten forage-inspired natural matte colors come alive in the water. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. Fish bite and won't let go. For the thirsty. For those who hang out in packs. For heroes. For sidekicks. For those who see the glass half empty. For those who see it half full. For those on the right. For those on the left. For those with nicknames. For those with curves. For people that cycle. For people that recycle. For BFFs. For frenemies. For those with style. For lovers. For families. For big families. For everyone. My name is James Loop, and I won the uh, 2020 Chevy 1500. It was uh, first day at roughly 5:30, 6 o'clock in the evening. I was like, "Let's stay fishing," and she's like, "Ah, maybe we need to get back to the launch." You know? <laughs> yeah, I had a blast. It was a great summer tournament. Thank you, Super Chevy Dealers, for my 2020 Silverado. back to Superior Bait and Tackle in Paradise, Louisiana. And let me tell you, uh, we, we in the rodeo and tournament right now are going on right now. They had the, the annual Coatis and False River Tournament uh, this, yesterday, uh, Sunday. Uh, let me tell you again, the fish are biting the False River. You can see by some of these weights. Uh, first, first place was Darren Bush. And Shane Lindsay at 15.84 pounds. Second was uh, Hannon Fairchild and Wayne Major, 15.14. Uh, third place was Brock Smith and uh, Rudy Smith at 13.20, uh, 12 ounces. Fourth was uh, Eric Lott and Denton Hadley, 13.30. Fifth was Lucas Arnold and Josh Contreras. So they had a bunch of weights, over 10 pounds. Uh, they gave out a bunch of places. They had a bunch of fish caught. Uh, I think their last weight was 12 pounds to be in the top five. So that's five fish. There's some good fish that were caught. Uh, 
I, I forgot what the big fish was. I did. They sent it to me by text, so I didn't have no email. Uh, let me let me give you another one right now. That, and these young guys have been fighting bad weather and everything else. They went to Henderson. I don't know if y'all remember. But we had a Sacolay tournament at, at Henderson, and uh, JB of Blaine Salters was kept saying he says they found bass in deep water holes. Uh, they didn't do that well on the Sacolay, but they were catching some big bass. Well, it paid off. The Junior Southwest Bass Masters when they went to Henderson and put in at the landing. Uh, the 15 and 18 year old first place was was Bo Landry. He had nine pounds for five fish. Second was Brady Talbot. Third was Gage Collins. And Big Bass was Brady Talbot with 2.7. The 11 to 14 age group first was uh, Caden Sellers. Uh, he had eight pounds, 33. Uh, 33.33 pounds. Second was Destin Morales. Third was, uh, let me read my own right, Haston Robinson. And big, big fish was Destin Morales. Seven to ten year old. First was Corman. Corbin. Good. Denham Springs. And second was Gentry Rogers. Third was Noah Roblin. Uh, the adults said Mark Landry. And uh, was first, Brett Sellers was second. And they had, both of them had over nine pounds. And third was Chase Robinson. So <clears throat> let me tell you all again, they found most of their fish. They were using creature baits, but uh, they were cranking. A lot of those kids were cranking. And that's where they caught most of their fish in Henderson. So that's the report. And when we come back, we got the Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report. Pause moving in storage. We just sold our house. Congratulations. We have two weeks to move. We'll deliver a few containers. Our new home's not ready. No problem. You can store things with us while you're between homes. We might need help. We'll refer trusted packers. We'll be staying at my brother's. Well, that sounds... He has kids of his own. Well... Five of them. Ma'am? Help. Trust us for local and long-distance moving and store at our storage centers. Pods. Moving in storage. Solved. New Berkeley Fireline Ultra 8. It's rounder, smoother, and four times more abrasion resistant than original Firelines. Expect 10% longer casts and superb knot strength. And you thought Fireline could get any better. For the thirsty, for those who hang out in packs, for heroes, for sidekicks, for those who see the glass half empty, for those who see it half full, for those on the right, for those on the left, for those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style, for lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone. Pod's moving in storage. I need to clean out my study. We'll deliver a container. My brother-in-law's moving in. Maybe he'll help you pack. He's lazy. We can refer some professionals. It's just until he finds work. We can keep things at our storage center for as long as it takes. I am not happy about this. Or you can keep your things on site for quick unloading. Did you say freeloading? I said unloading. I heard freeloading. I'm sure you did. Store on site or let us drive your things to our secure storage center. Pods, moving in storage, solved. For the thirsty, for those who hang out in packs, for heroes, for sidekicks, for those who see the glass half empty, for those who see it half full, for those on the right, for those on the left, for those with nicknames, for those with curves, for people that cycle, for people that recycle, for BFFs, for frenemies, for those with style, for lovers, for families, for big families, for everyone. Uh, 
my name is James Loop, and I won the uh, 2020 Chevy 1500. It was the uh, first day at roughly 5.30, 6 o'clock in the evening. I was like, let's stay fishing. And she's like, nah, maybe we need to get back to the launch, you know? <laughs> yeah, I had a blast. It was a great summer tournament. Thank you, Super Chevy dealers, for my 2020 Silverado. I'm Brett Favre. As a quarterback in the NFL, if I didn't stay focused, I ended up on my back or worse. Even the smallest distraction could make a good play or offensive drive come to an end. When you're in a car, the smallest distraction could end much more than a drive. It could end someone's life. Just like I refuse to lose on the field, I refuse to lose someone I love to distract and drive. And you should too. Focus on the road. Don't drive distracted. A message from Farm Bureau Insurance. I've been asking him to change the oil for months now, and he never did. So I finally just went to Benny's. They even washed my car for free. Uh-huh. And you know what? It was amazing. Yeah, I left Benny's and got home before Rob even knew I was gone. <laughs> Benny? Who the heck is Benny? Welcome back to the Fair Bay Tackle. Look, you see a very busy morning, Monday morning here. A lot of people getting ready catching fish, so let, let me temper this fishing report one more time. And I'm going to tell y'all, there's storms coming again. We had a lot of storms, a lot of wind last week that held some people back, but when they did get out, there was a lot of fish caught. Now, I'm going to start with Sacale. I'm going to tell you where most of the fish are being caught right now, some of the rivers now. When you got a lot of rain, this is going to change, but there's a lot of Sacolay being caught in the Tufunky River. There's all been some Sacolay when the Amy River fell. All down in the Amy River, people were catching Sacolay. So that's another good spot to tell y'all. Now, <clears throat> the spillway, you know, that's been coming back up there. We're catching them anyway. I don't know why. You see Joe Macaluso's uh, column over there. They're catching bass. They're finding fish. They're going up in the woods. I, I don't know why, but they're doing the same thing. In Henderson, they were talking about fishing. The water's coming up. There's a lot of fish being caught in Henderson, especially the bass right now. Not so much the Sacale, uh, but them brim will turn on. If that water ever settles and it quits rising, those brim's going to be back up in them islands and all those trees. You can go catch some brim, them big brim in Henderson. But the Sacale, should turn on, but the bass are biting in Henderson, but you gotta learn how to fish the flooded timber. That's what they're telling me. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you any more about the spillway. I don't know. Uh, Don Hutchinson and, and David Cavell and all them guys supposed to take me, uh, they ain't calling me, so that must mean they don't want to chance the black cloud. Uh, I don't know where the fish went, so they must have left. I'm gonna tell you this now. Uh, Sacolay, I'm talking about the Zalmas and all those places down there people are catching. I talked to Blaine Saucers before I come here. Blaine said he was going to tell me where not to go. He had a bunch of them fish lake for Rhett this past week. I don't know if it was the wind, the weather, or what. They didn't do that good. So that's the reports I got. Uh, Y'all can please send me some more reports, and I'll, I'll carry it over here on TV and that. That's the one, the one thing we do different than everybody else is that fishing report. So uh, help me stay on the air, keep it up, and, uh, and thank my sponsors because that's the one thing where we, it keeps us on the air. Uh, let me tell you this right now. Uh, we'll go talk about trout. Uh, last week with all that wind, 
But all them guys that are fishing the Pontchartrain Basin coming from Island Marina, uh, Miss Angie and David and them were telling me that captains are still catching fish. Right now, the hottest thing is trolling the trusses and the bridges. They trolling. They using a, a chrome and blue rattle trap. Uh, they just using that squid on the back of it. They're catching them all the time. They're catching them. Uh, some beautiful trout now. Captain Mike Brantley, he called two day this week. You see some of these pictures. They don't look that big, but I miss him. But uh, his clients are happy. They catching redfish and they catching trout. He was trolling. He don't do it that often. But when they are all fishing the trussels and the wind lays down and they got the tide running right, you know what they're doing? <laughs> the matrix shad. Uh, the limo splice and a couple of those colors I showed y'all last week it was doing it. By the way, the wind has been blowing. The, the gnats hadn't been bad, but uh, I got two more products that people swear on and told me about. And I tried them in a couple of days. They were gnats. They didn't bother me, but they weren't half as bad this week as they were last week with gnats. This right here is called Africa's Best Ultimate Herbal Oil. People use it in the hair and on the, on the skin, and uh, it's got olive oil in it, uh, and it got a bunch of natural oils. And I'm gonna tell you what, it don't smell that bad. And uh, it keeps. I tried this it was over there at my camp, and it, and it was really good. A friend of mine, Trey Bennett, told me about that. The dollar store, three dollars, right here, big bottle. This is also the doll story. This is no deep, deep free, insect repellent, personal care, one dollar, one dollar. That's the fishing report. Go hunt them trout. Don't forget the bridges. And you just got to go. I got some report from Dulac and them. They're catching redfish in that area, down in that area. But uh, no, that's the only reports we got. So stay tuned. Come back next week. See what you got. Send me your reports. Do the best you can. If uh, I tell you what, if you could send me some video, I might have to test it before because I can't put it on TV if it's not quality. But I'm telling y'all right now, you want a chance to fifty dollar gift certificate? Send me your turkey video, and uh, we'll send you a prize. See you next week. Don't forget our sponsors. Watch the Paradise, Louisiana. Paradise, Louisiana is also brought to you by Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, CCA Louisiana, and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament, Imco, and by Farm Bureau Insurance. <laughs>